My name's Hannah Belint and I teach here at Bend and Fly. I teach aerial and I'm also a yoga teacher as well. So um, the difference between doing the aerial therapeutics uh, versus just your regular anti-gravity training. Anti-gravity training, we're talking much more collectively. You've got a class full of 20 different bodies. Uh, so you're kind of having to talk to the masses in that situation. You're not really able to deal with one individual and, and deal with what they're um, having uh, in terms of any issues with their own body or having to be able to change it in any way for their body. So when we're talking about aerial therapeutics, we're able to um, really tailor to the specific needs of the individual versus a group scenario and setting. So in terms of hands-on assistance, uh, you're there with that individual when you're um, working one-on-one -on -one in a therapeutic way. Whereas again, in a class setting, um, you're hopefully able to see what's going on, but you're not even able to always um, check in with every person and how their journey is. Um, so we're much more focused on the individual when you're talking about aerial therapeutics. However, already in those 20 hours of foundations, I've already learned quite a bit and brought that into um, my classes as well, I've felt, um, which has been great. So for me, it's definitely been a progressive path towards a much more therapeutic way of teaching and learning. Uh, when I first started my yoga journey over eight years ago, it was all about power yoga, um, hot power yoga, and in a group setting. Um, but over the years, my own practice, um, I guess as I have become older, um, has slowed, and as you start to feel a few <laughs> nickels yourself, you can start to relate to um, people and their, and their differences within their bodies. Um, so I know that my path is definitely going down the therapeutic way um, and it was just perfect that Renee um, came to us at this time uh, with her aerial therapeutics. Um, it's so fantastic to be able to do this journey with her, in fact. Really. I um, have always loved teaching in a much more therapeutic way rather than trying to teach the most advanced moves in the hammock anyway. Yeah. It doesn't have to be just a yoga teacher that is doing this training. Anyone that's working in a therapeutic setting can absolutely uh, use the hammock in this therapeutic way and the beautiful way that Renee teaches means that that's completely accessible to you as an individual even if you haven't ever even attended an aerial class. Um, for me I have always loved just coming into this space and jumping into an inversion or just slowly easing myself into an inversion. It's one of the most fantastic things for the body. When I first saw um, an aerial hammock, it was on YouTube about eight years ago and I thought it was hilarious. I didn't know what this concept was. I thought this is ridiculous, it won't last. Tried it for the first time and was hooked pretty instantly. Just that physical sensation, that release is, is you can't beat it.